What if I told you that China's rapid adoption of electric vehicles is shaking up the global oil industry? With EVs dominating China's streets and millions of new ones being sold every year, the country's demand for oil is declining faster than anyone anticipated. This isn't just a win for environmental advocates, it's a seismic shift that's rewriting the rules for energy markets worldwide. Today, we're diving into how China's electric vehicle revolution is driving this change, what it means for the future of oil and the global implications of this massive transition. China is the world's largest market for electric vehicles, and it's not even close. In 2023 alone, the country accounted for over 60% of global EV sales. Major cities like Shanghai and Beijing are now packed with electric cars, from budget-friendly compact models to luxury EVs from brands like BYD, Xpeng, and even Tesla. This EV boom isn't happening by accident. China's government has been a driving force behind this transition, offering generous subsidies to EV buyers, investing an extensive charging infrastructure and enforcing strict emissions regulations that favor electric over gas-powered vehicles. For example, recent policies have doubled subsidies for trading in older internal combustion engine vehicles for new EVs. The result? Electric vehicles have gone from niche to mainstream in just a few years, making up more than half of passenger car sales in 2024. But what's truly remarkable is how this shift is starting to impact oil consumption. With fewer gas-powered cars hitting the roads, China's appetite for oil, especially for transportation, is beginning to decline. Gasoline demand in China, for instance, is expected to drop 6.4 percent by 2025 compared to its peak in 2021, according to the International Energy Agency. By the way, if you're enjoying this discussion, please give this video a like. It helps more people discover content like this and supports the channel. For decades, China's economic growth fueled an insatiable demand for oil. But now, that narrative is changing. Analysts estimate that China's total oil demand will grow by fewer than 100,000 barrels per day in 2024, a dramatic slowdown from past decades when growth averaged over 500,000 barrels daily. This slowdown isn't just due to the rise of EVs. Other factors, like the growth of China's high-speed rail network, or HSR for short, are also playing a role. The IEA estimates that the expansion of HSR eliminated the need for an additional 300,000 barrels of oil per day. Meanwhile, the country's housing slump has significantly reduced diesel demand as construction activity has slowed dramatically. A clear example of this is illustrated in the chart on China's floor space of new home starts. Between 2019 and 2023, there was a staggering decline of nearly 60% in the amount of new construction. This reduction in activity has drastically lowered diesel consumption, as less fuel is needed to power construction equipment and transport materials. The connection is straightforward. Fewer new buildings mean less need for diesel-powered machinery, further contributing to the drop in oil demand. Additionally, more heavy-duty trucks in China are switching from diesel to liquefied natural gas, with these new trucks now making up 42% of heavy-duty truck sales in 2024, up from just 9% in 2022. Diesel and gasoline's share of China's oil demand fell to 44% in 2024, down from 51% in 2018. While transportation fuels are running out of road, China's growing petrochemical sector has partially offset these declines. Consumption of naphtha and liquefied petroleum gas, or LPG for short, key feedstocks for petrochemicals, has risen by 59% since 2019. However, even this petrochemical boom might not be enough to compensate for the ongoing decline in diesel and gasoline demand. One reason China has been able to embrace EVs so rapidly is its commitment to technology and innovation. Chinese automakers like BYD and Xpeng are not just producing electric cars, they're creating vehicles with cutting-edge battery technology and advanced features like autonomous driving. Take BYD, for example. It's not only one of the largest EV manufacturers in the world, but also a leader in battery production. The company's Blade battery technology, which I covered in detail in a previous video linked in the description, has set new standards for safety and efficiency, making EVs more accessible to the average consumer. Has set new standards for safety and efficiency, making EVs more accessible to the average consumer. Meanwhile, Xpeng's advancements in autonomous driving, such as its X-Pilot system, are redefining what consumers expect from their vehicles. 
This technological edge has also enabled Chinese automakers to compete internationally. For instance, Xpeng's G9 SUV and P7 sedan have gained traction in European markets, and BYD's vehicles are now being exported to over 30 countries. These innovations are not just reshaping transportation within China, but also setting the stage for a global EV revolution. China's reduced oil demand is sending shockwaves through global energy markets. For oil-producing nations, this shift is a wake-up call. China imported 11.3 million barrels of oil per day in 2023, more than 10% of global production. But with demand for gasoline and diesel peaking, oil exporters are now facing a structural decline in one of their most important markets. This could have significant implications for oil prices. Analysts suggest that the world is likely well supplied with oil for the next decade, thanks to slowing demand growth and increased production from producers outside the organization of the petroleum exporting countries such as Brazil and Guyana. These countries are rapidly scaling up their output, providing a critical buffer in the global energy market. However, this shift also raises questions about long-term sustainability and whether oil producers can adapt quickly enough to meet changing demand dynamics. As a result, oil prices could settle in a lower range, potentially around $70 per barrel or even lower. The slowdown in China's oil demand growth is also influencing global climate goals. By reducing its reliance on gasoline and diesel, China is significantly cutting greenhouse gas emissions from its transportation sector. This progress aligns with international efforts to combat climate change, making the EV boom a win for both the environment and the economy. As EV adoption continues to rise, the question isn't just about China, but about the global trajectory of oil demand. Could this be the beginning of the end for big oil? While that might be an overstatement for now, it's clear that the industry is at a crossroads. Companies that fail to pivot toward renewable energy and adapt to a changing market risk being left behind. China's EV boom is also a reminder that policy matters. The country's success in transitioning away from oil has been driven by government incentives, infrastructure investment, and a long-term vision. For other nations looking to reduce their reliance on oil, China's approach offers valuable lessons. At the same time, challenges remain. The global energy transition will require significant investment in renewable infrastructure, better battery recycling systems, and a fair approach to ensuring that developing nations aren't left out of the EV revolution. Additionally, petrochemicals, which currently account for a growing share of China's oil demand, could slow down as the global economy shifts toward more sustainable practices. China's EV boom is more than just a domestic success story. It's a transformative force reshaping global oil demand and accelerating the transition to a low-carbon future. As the world watches this shift unfold, the stakes couldn't be higher. For oil exporting nations, automakers, and policymakers, the message is clear. Adapt or risk falling behind. The road ahead may be uncertain, but one thing is for sure. China's embrace of electric vehicles is not just reducing its dependence on oil, it's changing the game for everyone. What do you think about this transition? Could China's EV boom be the tipping point for the global energy market? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more.